In this video, we are going to learn about the quotient rule of differentiation. So let us start. To understand the quotient rule of differentiation, let us take an example of a function y is equal to 2x plus 3 whole divided by 2x square. So now let us see here how can we apply quotient rule of differentiation here or how can we find dy upon dx in this function. So now here we have a quotient rule for this case. So now let us suppose this numerator the upper one numerator is uh, f of x and denominator is g of x. So now here the we have a quotient rule. So the according to this rule here d dx of f of x and g of x the function both are in division. So f of x divided by g of x that is equal to denominator that is g of x whole square. Now in numerator g of x as it is differentiation of f of x minus f of x as it is differentiation of g of x. So this is the quotient rule here. So now let us apply this rule for this function y is equal to something. So let it be equation number 1. So now to apply this one let us differentiate equation 1 with respect to x. Again we will write here on differentiating equation 1 with respect to x here. So we get d dx of this y is equal to now uh, we have function here uh, so let us apply the uh, rule here d dx of we have 2x plus 3 divided by 2x square. So now here we will apply this rule here so let us apply the rule so for this one here I need to remove this one so here let us apply the rule. So we have dy upon dx this is equal to now here we are going to apply the quotient rule. So according to this one first of all in denominator g of x whole square. So now g of x is 2x square here. So in denominator there will be 2x square whole square. And after that in numerator g of x as it is that is 2x square as it is differentiation of f of x, f of x is here 2x plus 3 minus f of x as it is that is numerator 2x plus 3 as it is and differentiation of g of x that is d dx of <coughs> g of x is 2x square. So now we have uh, applied here the quotient rule. Now let us solve this one to get our answer. So therefore dy upon dx this is equal to here 2x square as it is and uh, in case of denominator let us solve this one the square of 2 is 4 and x square square so it will be x raised to power 4. So 4x raised to power 4 into now let us differentiate this factor here. So on differentiating this factor here so differentiation of you can see here differentiation of 2x. So differentiation of 2x is 2 and the differentiation of this 3 is 0. So no need to write down the 0. So finally we have here 2x square into 2 minus 2x plus 3 as it is and differentiation of 2x square here. So 2 here this is the constant term it will come outside the differentiation. So I will write this one like this one here 2 into now differentiation of x square. So it will be 2x raised to power 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. So it is 2x raised to power 1. 
So now finally uh, we have dy upon dx this is equal to not 2 into 2 this is 4x square minus now 2 into this one so 2x plus 3 uh, into 4x okay whole divided by 4x power 4 so this means x here. So now here you can see in uh, both these two factor uh, we have a something so uh, we can take this one common here. So let us take the common 4x from here. So we will get here. So let us take the common here. So on left hand side we have dy upon dx and on right hand side we have 4. Now uh, we are taking 4x common here. So it will be 4 uh, out of uh, this one 4x square we have uh, left here only x minus uh, 4x already gone so we have 2x now I'm also multiplying with the minus here so it is minus 2x and minus 3 so it will be uh, now below the this one here it is 4x power 4 so now 4 4 cancel out and x so uh, it will cut uh, one x will cancel out here. We'll left now x power three here. So let us do the final step and we'll get the answer. So dy upon dx this is equal to now here. This is x and this is minus two x. So we left here minus x minus three divided by x power three. So let us modify this one again. We are taking the minus common from here minus x minus plus 3 upon x cube. So this is the final result here in case of a quotient rule. So now in this way we can apply the quotient rule of uh, uh, differentiation for these uh, terms. So now you can try uh, more questions by taking the example from your book or uh, maybe from anywhere that you want. So thanks for watching this video.